So last year in 2022, I sat down and I did the practice that I normally do each and every year. And that is a practice called Draw My Life. I first learned about this five years ago from Love and Day on YouTube. And I started implementing this. Beginning of each year, I would sit down and I would draw my life. So I would write my current state in terms of what I'm feeling, where I am in life in that current moment, beginning of the year. And then I would write on the other side of the page, my desired state, what I desire to look what I desire in my life, what I desire my life to look like and how I want to feel like during that year and by the end of that year. And one of the things that I wrote on my desired state was I have a proper camera and I wrote the Sony ZV-1. At that moment, I didn't know much about ZV-E10, but I knew about Sony ZV-1. And I knew that there was the camera that I wanted for my YouTube channel. And when I wrote here, that's when I wanted to start. That's when I started being intentional with my YouTube channel, you know, seeing the potential that it can grow, that this could be something that, you know, I enjoy doing. And so having a camera, I felt like that's something that I needed. And for a long time, I've been using my phone. I'm saying this because I wanted to tell you the importance of writing your goals down. I know when you are writing it down, when you're sitting and you're reflecting on your life it does not seem like it's something that is going to be practical or it's just it doesn't seem tangible it doesn't seem like it's an act an activity that is useful until you realize two years down the line that the things that you had set as your intentions have have started to come to pass the thing about goals is it's not going to happen overnight it's not going to happen instantly when you want it to happen once you, you've written it down what happens is you start taking actions small actions some consciously some unconsciously where you start working towards achieving those goals and as you do those small actions they end up piling up to a point whereby you do see the real results of you getting that goal or achieving that goal for me when i started my channel i did not think that i would be where i am today but i did wish for me to be here and i did not think when i started my channel that i could be able to afford this even last year after i had shared with you guys that i want to buy a camera and i was thinking of buying it with my salary one guy I said do not use your salary to buy YouTube a, buy a camera for YouTube use the money that you get paid in YouTube mind you at that time I had just gotten monetized and I was barely even cutting the threshold of me to get paid I was getting I was making about 500 rands per month and I looked at that I was like how is that even going to happen? When is that even going to happen? But because I set a goal beginning of the year that I want to be intentional with my YouTube channel, I want to work on my YouTube channel, I kept taking small actions each and every week where I would post twice a week without fail. Twice a week I would post and I've realized that all of those small actions that I've been taking towards my channel have led me to where I am today. So I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you that has supported my channel, showed me love and, you know, comments on the comment section, watch my ads. It is because of all those actions that you guys take that I am able to afford this camera right now. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. And I just wanted to affirm you that write your goals down, state it down, that this is what you desire for your life. And once you've written it down, don't just forget it, but start putting intentions of working towards those things. If they're really important to you and you really desire those things to, for your life, you need to start working on it. Write it down and then start working on it. So with that being said, let us get to the point of the, let's get into this video. So on today's video, I'm going to be doing my, my reset. This is not a monthly reset. It's just more so of a weekly reset. So these are things that I needed to do in this house so that I can start the week. Okay. But today I decided to start it differently. Instead of just going straight into cleaning, I wanted to, I decided to wake up early on a Saturday morning. You know, normally I sleep in on a Saturday, but I decided to wake up early so that I'm able to set a good intention for the day. Because one thing I realized is when I sleep in on Saturdays and I I know that there are things that I need to do. A lot of time ends up being taken 
by me just slipping in and by the time I start doing things the day day is over and so today I started by setting an intention of what I wanted my day to look like so I worked on my diary on my planner in terms of planning for the week planning for the month as well in terms of content creation and then I went on ahead and started creating a to-do list for what I need to do in the day, the activities that I need to make sure that I do in order for me to feel like, okay, we are ready for the new week. So that is how I started my day. Give me 
Catch me in someone who's cool, yeah And I like the way you are I just like the way you are, yeah All the ways you blow my mind, yeah People always told me I need someone like you Someone who gets me and someone who's cool, yeah And I like the way you are Watching videos of us I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something more I was so sure, let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that Love me like that Oh, staying inside in my bed all day long Listening to sad songs and feeling so low Thinking about you and where we went wrong Cause I wanna know why you let me go Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something more I was so sure, I let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that Love me like that Oh, 
on the snow up down all gas stay down even when we not up no way they could ever break us up oh god they could only try to keep up i let it ride when i usually would have rolled out i know you grateful that i stayed down we eat a pass in the past that's all done now Glad that we stayed done We gon' pull up in a whip, start a new trend Every inch of our skin is the blueprint Follow the lines They act like they forget Let's remind them Be my rider All gas No way they can never pay us No way they can never break us Oh, next we ain't gonna slow Bye. 
by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some do crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high life Time to catch a flight but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in Okay, so we're going to start here. Here I got this uh, fruit bowl, veggie bowl from Mr. Price Home. It is retailing for 250 There's another one that I had seen, but I decided to go with this one because of the wood. And the reason why is because if you look here, most of my things has like, you know, that wooden thing. So I wanted to carry on the theme in terms of having something that has wood. The other one was basic and plain. But I love the I love this one. So we're gonna pack our fruits and my veggies in here, the ones that don't go in the fridge. Okay, and then she wants to show you what we have. What do you have there? We have um, what is it called? Uh, it's puffed rice cereal bars. We have puffed rice cereal bars. Mm-hmm. For school. So we're just, we've never Mama, really bought these, but I, I thought, let me buy the them. Okay. I thought, let me buy them and try them for the her key. lunchbox. And then I got these flowers. Well, most of the flowers at Woolworths today, at that Woolworths, were very underwhelming. But these ones were the ones that I felt like, at least they still look a little bit alive. So I'm going to put that on the centerpiece. We got Poloni. Uh, bath soap. Let me put that aside. We got tea bags, fresh pack. We got chips for number chips for me. Chips for school. We've got eggs there. We've got cereal. I love these brain flakes. Like they are just the best. Yeah, I love them. And then I decided to try something different, which is the sourdough bread from Woolworths. We'll see how it goes. I also want my daughter to eat this. I decided, I, I thought of buying the regular bread that I normally buy, but I decided against that. So we are going with this one. We will all eat this one. And if we don't like it, we all don't like it, you know. 
and then i bought these wraps because i want to do some wraps as well i decided that we let's just try to have some sort of a dessert after our meal on sunday oh the electricity just came back so yeah that's what we got we got malva pudding which we're going to couple it with this ultra meal and then i got juice for school juice for the house and these peppers i've never bought this the, the ones that i normally buy is the one that are mixed in color but these ones say that they're seedless so i thought let me try these they were retailing for 50 something rent yeah there you go retailing for 55 rent and then i also got baby spinach there because i want to do omelette tomorrow and then i got veggies i've got what is this onions i've got red onions because for the omelette that i want to do tomorrow we've got carrots and we've got avocados these are not ripe so i still have to wait for them to get ripe and then these are the things that i've never got this but i've eaten this out and i love it so i thought let me i thought let me try it and i'll try to find recipes to cook this but these are prawns basically i think ne? yeah prawns and then chicken bangers so i like to make mints with these bangers i just decase them and then i make mints i also like to make bangers with these so i always make sure that i have a tray in the fridge and then i also bought red meat because tomorrow i want to make I, I want to make it dombolo. You know the one way there is a dombolo inside the stew. That's what I want to make. So I bought this, this one. But I also bought this one from Woolworths. But I feel like it's so small. So I decided to add this one. And then I have bananas. And then this cereal th thing that we showed you guys already. So that's basically it when it comes to our haul. That's what we have. Yeah, I'm just going to pack these away and then we'll continue on with other things. So, I had these flowers. I had these flowers that looked like they were dying. But as I was putting them in this plastic, I realized with Ayman, these flowers are still just good. You know, these flowers are still looking beautiful. One thing I realized about red roses is that as they get old, they become, they get this texture of velvet and it makes them look even more nicer and so i decided to keep them i was like no ways and these flowers are two weeks old by the way so this is the third week of me having them and they still look so nice so i decided to keep them and use them in the bunch that i have in the new bunch that i have because i wasn't happy with this new bunch that i bought this white and pinkish thing pinkish flowers that i bought there's just something about it it's just just there was just not working so i decided to add the red roses on it and it made it look nice and then i also decided to use some of the bunch on my bedroom and i love looking at at that realized that i need to have flowers in my bedroom now because they look really nice they make me happy as well when i look at them it just gives me that joy thing inside with that being said i'm not gonna talk to you guys anymore i'm just gonna say thank you so much if you've watched up until now i'll see you on the next one the video is not over it's not over however just do stick around until we get to the end thank you to each and every one of you that continuously support me that continuously show me love and that is not judgmental that is not too critiquey you know because i've realized that people on the youtube streets can be very judgmental and also very critical as if they have their lives perfect no one is no one's life is perfect so i i do appreciate you guys that do understand that we are all human at the end of the day just because i choose to share my life here doesn't mean that i am perfect doesn't mean that i'm not human it doesn't mean that you know so thank you to each and every one of you that is kind that takes time to leave kind comments that is not rude and that is also not pushy thank you to each and every one of you you know so i will see you on the next one please take care and stay safe bye just take a look at yourself do you really think it's gonna help if you always fight in yourself trying to forget how you felt just take a look at yourself can't even be your own friend because you're way too stuck in your head how do you think it's gonna end nothing that they
should feel it So I think that you need it Others' opinions To know how you're feeling To know if you're losing or winning Left behind or within it If you're sinking or swimming Existing or living Nothing I, that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain of Shawty 